Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here. About a year ago, I think it was, I put up a video about why there are no left-handed catchers and it got a bunch of views and a lot of comments i still get a lot of comments on it every single day i'll put it somewhere up here if you want to go back and check it out but we went through it and basically listen i didn't have the answer at the time i just gave my reasons for why i think there are really no left-handed catchers and a lot of you gave your reasons as well well there was just an article put up where a bunch of people were interviewed talking about the different reasons why they believe there are no left-handed catchers. And I've had some more time to kind of think about this and process it and talk to more people. And today, we're going to talk about the real reason why there are no left-handed catchers. So I've got a bunch of notes over here. Here's the first thing to know. The last time a left, and, and let me back up a second. When we say left-handed catchers, we mean catchers that throw left-handed. I was a little surprised in the first video. A lot of people were, were giving me left-handed hitting catchers. Yeah, there's no problem to be a left-handed hitting catcher. We're talking about catchers that catch with the ball on their right hand or with their glove on their right hand and throw the ball with their left hand. There's none of those, okay? The last catcher that did it was 1989, and it was only a handful of games. I think it was three games. Benny Stefano with the Pirates. And this is kind of a crazy story. So... He got called up in September of 88. He was kind of like a kind of like a bench utility type player, played some first base, played some right field, and he talked about potentially being an emergency catcher for the the next season because the bench size was getting decreased by 1. And so Leland thought about it and said, "Yeah, you know, this is interesting. Maybe we go with this." And so they had him, they had Benny work on catching an instructional league. He made the roster the next year. Now, he mostly played first base and outfield, but he got into the game a couple of times. I think it said three games, a few innings, um, as a left-handed catcher. Now, here's some more interesting numbers before we get to the reason why. The last lefty thrower to appear in more than just a handful of, of games was way back, way back in 1902, Jiggs Donahue, my boy Jiggs, okay? He played for the St. Louis Browns. And how about this one? The only left-handed thrower in Major League history to have caught at least 1,000 games was Jack Clements, who played from 18, I almost said 19, no, 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 1884 to 19. Hundred, And he also holds the distinction, this is good, for being the first catcher to wear a chest protector. So he's got that going for him. And how about this one? I'm actually surprised. I thought it'd be longer ago than this. You have to go back at least 15 years to find a left-handed catcher in the minor leagues that was catching and got 250 or more plate appearances. Daniel Santon. I think is how you say it. He had 219 plate appearances for the Everett Aqua Sox. I played against the Everett Aqua Sox. Uh, Class A short season with the Mariners. That was back in 2005. Okay, so that gives you just a little bit of history of how little left-handed catchers there really is. Now, let's talk about the reasons. Again, put in the comment section below what you think the reason is, or if you think any of these reasons are, are, are right or wrong, I'm going to go through everyone and give you my opinion right now. Okay, so the first reason that people will bring up is that a left-handed catcher can exist because of the right-handed batter, and the right-handed batter will be getting in the left-handed catcher's way when he's throwing down, okay? So that's the first thing, but let's look at the numbers right here, okay? I've got some numbers here. So the first thing here is... Last season, 2020, 57.3% of at-bats were from right-handed hitters. So not as, not as high as you may think. I thought that number would have been higher. So it, it's not like there's way more righties than lefties, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, here's the other thing to think about. If this is true that lefties have a hard time throwing when a righty's hitting, and that's why we can't have it, then let's look at the numbers from when a right-handed catcher is throwing with a left-hander 
in the batter's box. So if you look at the numbers from 2019 to 2020, when there was a right-handed hitter hitting with a right-handed catcher, they're all right-handed catchers, caught stealing percentage was 26.2%. When you look at when a lefty was hitting, 26.2%. So it's the exact same percentage, okay? So I know there's other things involved, but let's just say if this, if this was like a huge deal that you can't throw a runner out or it's hard to throw a runner out if you're a righty with a lefty hitter, just like we're saying if you were a lefty with a righty hitter, um, it doesn't seem to hold true because it's the exact same caught stealing percentage. Now, the second thing that a lot of people will say is that, well, a lefty can't catch because they wouldn't be able to throw the ball to third base with a runner stealing third. It'd be too difficult for them, right? It'd be easier for a right-hander to just catch and throw. Now, if you look at it, this is interesting because, now, I, I didn't know this. I don't know the numbers, but they're claiming that there's actually more throws from the catcher going to first base because of back picks, right? So you've got a man on first. You think you're going to pick him off after a secondary lead. There's more throws to first from the catcher than there is throws to third as a, because there's just not as many runners that get to second base and then steal third base. Okay, so that's interesting. There's more throws to first than there are to third. And every catcher is right-handed. So the catchers are continually having to back pick to first base, right? So just like, and, and you'll see it, you see it all the time. You watch a game, you're going to see catchers back pick to first and they do it incredibly fast. Some catchers are amazing at it. Well, just like a righty can back pick to first, a lefty could throw to third, right? So I don't think this is that big of a deal. Now, the third thing that people will talk about is that lefties, their ball will tail a lot more. They'll say that, you know, there's a lot more run and, and as a catcher, you need to throw the ball true, you need it to be straight, you can't have the ball tailing and then the, the middle infielder trying to catch a ball that's running away from them. Here's my thought on this. Catchers are taught, right? Catchers are specifically taught and when they're practicing their throws, they're always taught to get their fingers behind the ball and to get some backspin on the ball so the ball stays true and straight, right? That's what they're always working on. Now think about lefties. Lefties, if you're a lefty, you're probably pitching, first off. So the most important thing is you're pitching. And when you're pitching, what are you taught? Movement, sink, especially lefties, sink the ball, right? Get some run on the ball. And so the reason why lefties typically don't throw the ball straight and true as much is because they don't, they don't play catcher. They don't have to. If you took a lefty, put him behind the plate, and said, you need to practice every day on throwing this four-seam ball as straight as you can, they could do it. Just because they throw with their left arm doesn't mean that they can't throw the ball straight. Right? It's just that they, most lefties pitch. And so they're taught, you know, they throw a little bit lower arm slot, and they sink the ball, and they move the ball all around. Well... We can teach them how to throw the ball straight if we put them behind the plate, okay? So I don't agree with that argument. Now, the fourth one is one that I actually talked about a lot in the last video, and that was that it's hard for the catcher to tag runners out at the plate. Because if you're a righty and you're catching the ball from, from an infielder or from the outfield, you're going to catch and tag, right? So you're going to be tagging this way. If you're a lefty, you're going to have to catch and then, you know, I got a tag over here on the other side of my body. So it's kind of like I'm catching it with a backhand and tagging versus catch and, and tag here. Now, this article brought up an interesting point is that as an infielder, a lot of tags on bases are the backhand tag, just like a lefty catch would be. So if I'm playing shortstop and I've got a throw coming in from right field, right? Guy hits the ball down the right field line or in the gap. And I've got, you know, we're going to throw the ball in the second base and try to tag him out. Well, if it's in the gap, hopefully he's fast enough to get the second standing up. But some guys aren't. Regardless, if I'm going to catch a ball and tag second base on a ball from right field, I'm going to do that. I'm going to catch backhand wise and tag here, right? And so it's the same exact thing. If you're a third baseman, and the throw is coming from left center field or left field, you're going to catch and tag. And that happens all the time, right? And so I don't know if that's, you know, I, th I didn't even think about that before, but it makes sense. I've done it a million times in my career. I've played third base. I've played shortstop. 
And you're always making those kind of backhand tags, right? So if you can do that, why can't a catcher do it? All right, so I'm not sure that that argument holds up either. Now, this one is probably getting closer to the real answer. The fifth argument is, well, there aren't any lefty catchers, so there can't be any lefty catchers, right? That's what happens a lot. And I've seen this happen. You know, I'm around youth baseball all the time. You see a left-handed catcher, and even if the kid's good, people are like, what are you, a left-handed catcher? You can't be a left-handed catcher. Why not? Because there's not, because you, you don't play catcher if you're left-handed. Like, that's the answer all the time. Because they don't, they don't exist. I watch Major League Baseball, and they don't, they're not up there, so they can't be down here either, right? And so... Kids end up being told like, no, 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 you can't be left-handed catcher because there aren't any. So go play first base or go to the outfield or, or something else, but you can't play catcher. So I think there is a lot to be said for that one. We're still not at the, at the real answer yet. At least, well, I don't think. I think that is part of, that, that is a, a big part of it, right? And so if you don't have catchers at a young level working on it because people are telling them, no, you can't do that. It's not, you're not supposed to do that well, then you're not going to have enough catchers that are going to be able to get good enough to beat the right-handed catchers out to get to the, to the highest levels. Now, a few people also said that, well, it would look weird for the pitcher, right? The pitcher's never seen a left-handed catcher, and so the pitcher's looking in, and everything looks, you know, different to them. And, you know, my thought is catchers are, uh, pitchers are good enough. Like, if they start seeing more left-handed catchers, they can figure it out, right? Like, pitcher, every position, every player has to, has to adapt to lots of situations in the game. And so I think pretty easily a pitcher is going to be able to adapt. You know, you throw a few bullpens to a left-handed catcher and I think all of a sudden things start to look normal. So I don't think that one will qualify either. And so what is the real reason? I think the real reason is, and this is combined a little bit with that, well, no one, you know, you're not supposed to be a left-handed catcher, right? It's a little bit of that. But I think one of the biggest reasons, and a lot of people put this in the comment section in the first video, is that if you are a lefty and you throw really hard, chances are you're going to be put on the mound, right? And so if you're put on the mound, it's just difficult to be a great pitcher and to be able to catch right it's a lot of throwing you don't see a lot of players that are able to do both and as you move up especially once you get to uh, college and then especially professionally you don't see catchers or you don't see pitchers also catching right most players have to decide between one or the other and so you know my son's a lefty and if he throws really hard when he gets older I'm probably going to put him on the mound. I'm not going to probably put him behind the plate. It almost feels like you're wasting a great arm. And you're not wasting it because you need a good arm as a catcher also. But there's not a lot of great lefty pitchers. Like if you want to get to the big leagues, throw left-handed. You could also catch actually, so I guess that's true. But if you throw left-handed and you throw hard, you've got a good chance of playing at a high level of baseball. right? And so you see a special arm and he's left-handed. Probably not. The first thing that pops into your head probably isn't, let's get this kid behind the plate. The first thing that pops into your head is, let's get this guy on the mound. And so I think that is probably the biggest reason. And uh, like I said, as you move up, you've got to, if you want to be a pitcher at a high level, you end up having to put a lot of time towards, you know, honing that skill. And it doesn't leave enough time to also be a really high level catcher. So I think it's a combination of both of those. Let me know what you think if I missed anything in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Already. Don't forget to go back and watch that other video because um, I can't remember exactly, but I think we might have listed even other examples or reasons as well. But these reasons here are the ones that I think um, are probably most popular. So I want to talk about those. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.